Hey, this is Mike. Before I get started, please hit the subscribe button because I know you're going to really love my videos. This is one of hundreds of videos that I have on different makes and models. So if you could subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. I know you won't be disappointed. And if you don't always want to sub subscribe, you can do it later. So go ahead and subscribe now. So anyways, at any time in the video, if you have a question, uh, go ahead and immediately type it into the comment section as I go along. This is going to be a pretty detailed video and I want to uh, make sure that you have all the information that you need uh, about this vehicle as much as possible before you make a buying decision. So here it is, 2015 Toyota Tacoma. Now this one has the TRD off-road package, which gives you quite a bit of few things. Um, now one of the things you'll notice, this truck is quite a bit off the ground. It does give you some really good ground clearance. It gives you off-road kind of rugged tires um, that's made for off-roading. But the ground clearance is one of the main things that you'll notice between this and just a regular run-of-the-mill Tacoma. Uh, this one really stands out as way off the ground. So let's go ahead and check it out. You can see that it has the BF Goodrich high quality off-road tires. Um, and the, the wheels are 16 inch aluminum wheels. But look how much space you have underneath the vehicle can really do some serious off-roading you don't have to really worry about uh, running over small stumps and stuff like that because you do have significant amount of ground clearance so here in the front you see you do have halogen reflector headlights and fog lights and there is a skid plate under there to help protect the vitals under the under the under the vehicle So this one has a 4.0 liter V6 with 236 horsepower and it's paired up with a 5 speed automatic transmission. And this one is the double cab which is basically a big four door here, it's like double the space that you'd normally get. So let's take a look here in the passenger side. Here's the inside of the passenger door, uh, very, very simple design, it does have a good place dished out for your arm to rest and a bottle holder there and uh, your power windows and a couple speakers there in the door as well have cloth seats with manual adjustments on the seats the seats are pretty comfortable too they do have some bolstering on them and uh, they do go far back so like say that front seat I mean I, I, I slid it back because that's what I normally have to do is get in the vehicle and slide it all the way back, but it slid back further than, I, I mean, so far back I couldn't even touch the, touch the uh, pedals. So it does have the plenty of leg room in this vehicle. All right, so let's take a look at inside the glove compartment. Pretty decent size, not too bad. All right, you have a handle, so in case you need to climb up in there. Now, of course, you can always put side steps on it if you need to. Take a look in the back seats. Now the front seats are almost all the way back, so you can see the leg room is still pretty decent even with the seats all the way back. And the seats are pretty good size. They do have the latch system in order to uh, put car seats back here. The back doors are just as about as big as door, big as the front, I guess. And these do uh, these seats in a 60/40 split lift up, and you do have some storage underneath the seats on both sides so that way you can you know put some stuff under here it'll be completely out of the way and you, you know you're utilizing some space that you wouldn't normally have under the seats uh, for tools or just about anything you want so back here you can see it has the LED accents there and um, looks pretty cool chrome bumper now here's the towing package you do have the wiring right here there's the towing package Let's take a look under the truck backup camera lens is right here 
All right, so let's go ahead and drop the tailgate. You see it does have a bed liner already installed and it has a few things that I think is very incredible. Um, well, it does have tie downs, which is, you know, pretty much a must. That's not too incredible. This is pretty neat. You have the ability to put some tools in this little compartment here. And you can, you know, kind of keeps it out of the way, out of sight. Keeps it from being cluttered. You also have another compartment there. But right here, you can actually, this is a 400 watt Edison plug, just like you would find in your house, to where you can plug in all kinds of stuff into that. I mean, 400 watts is a ton of wattage. You can plug, plug in a power drill, possibly a skill saw type thing. I mean, you can plug in all kinds of stuff to that and actually use this truck in a lot of work. Uh, forget about extension cords, forget about stuff like that, or even if you're in an area where uh, there's no electricity to run an extension cord to, you don't need a generator um, for most things. I mean, that is, a, that is a really, really good feature to have it right here. You drop the tailgate and you can work your tools right here out of the back of the truck. Now it does have, has 400 watts while it's uh, idling and 100 watts while it's running, like if you're driving the truck, is my understanding of that. And uh, I guess the, you know, the engine and different things require uh, power too, so. All right, so let's continue on. Here's your fuel door and your fuel cap, and it is a uh, on the driver's side, which is very convenient. And so basically, unscrewing that cap, you can it is attached to the string, which you can lay over this little thing right here uh, to keep it from scratching your paint. So it'll keep it out and hang in there away from your, your paint there. Let's take a look on this side to give you another point of reference here because this side has some storage underneath the seat as well. You can see your tools are on the other side but this side is empty so you can put stuff in here as well. You have a manual sliding rear glass. Doom light. All right, let's take a look under the hood. All right, to open the hood, you just just to the right of the Toyota symbol, you just reach under the hood, and there's this latch here you can lift up, and it unlatches it. I had to use two hands to lift it, uh, put the camera down. But anyways, this is the 4.0 liter V6 with the 236 horsepower. It does have the intelligent VV VVT system, and if you're not familiar with that, I have a whole video, or actually I have a video of Matt explaining what VVT is. Uh, basically, it gives you the best gas mileage with the best power possible. And look at there. See? Oil filters right there, that's easy to get to. All right. I wish they wouldn't cover it up with plastic, but hey, that's my preference. All right, let's take a look on the inside. All right, here we are on the inside. You see it has plenty of leg room and knee room. All right, so let's start over here on the driver's side door. And it does have your power window controls, your door lock controls, and you can lock out the windows from being rolled up and down if you wanted to. So right here is a whole bunch of buttons. And so let's go ahead and start here at the top left. This is your, uh, your fog lights. You can turn those on and off there. The rear differential lock, um, this is for like off-road only, has a, the ability to lock the rear differentials like positive traction to where they don't, one doesn't spin without the other. Uh, and this could really get you out of a uh, 
serious off-road condition but just normally you don't want to use that um, just on dry pavement especially going around corners and stuff you could lose control of the vehicle because uh, it's very important for one wheel to spin uh, around the other it's hard to explain but one wheel has to spin at a certain speed different than the other as you're going around curves but anyway that's a different story uh, so right here is this is where you turn on and off that Edison plug this is in the back of the truck um, so you can just turn that on and off down here is your side mirrors you can just choose which side you want and you can adjust them put it back in the center so you don't accidentally mess up your adjusted mirrors this is a traction control button you can turn that off if you want to uh, this is a downhill uh, like a downhill descent type button and this is for like if you're in four-wheel drive low this is only off-road four-wheel drive low and you're going down kind of a loose gravel surface or some kind of slippery surface this will help you uh, go down the hill at a reasonable rate it slows your vehicle down uh, it does it kind of automatically and you can just kind of like coast down the hill and it keeps you from you know in, in control of the vehicle too now this one requires a little bit of explaining. This RSCA stands for Roll Sensing Curtain Airbags. So what's the point of this? Basically, you do have side airbags. You have all these airbags on the side of the seat and the side of everywhere and the top and there's curtain airbags, but a bunch of different airbags everywhere. Now typically side airbags on a regular normal car or, or whatever requires a side impact to deploy now this one has roll sensing side impact so literally if this truck were to flip over and mash itself on the side the it'll the it has a sensor to tell the airbags to deploy then so you're not it's not really requiring a side impact it's just you're flipping over so the airbags deploy and it saves you a head injury or whatever now if you're going off-road and you're going on some really heavy articulation articulated positions um, you want to go ahead and turn that feature off which this button does you push that button it turns off that feature and that way you know if you're going uh, real steep angles to the left and right the the truck doesn't automatically think you're flipping over or something and uh, and deploy the airbags because that wouldn't be good so that just definitely will make sure you remember to turn it on um, but that's what that's for I know it's a little bit of a long explanation but it's a little bit different uh, than you know the average button in the truck here's a little spot to put some coins or something and there's your parking brake there on the, on the bottom left so looking at the steering wheel, it is a, and it does have these little dimples in it. It's a leather wrapped, very comfortable steering wheel. And the dimples give you some really good grip, even if your hands are a little bit sweaty or, or, uh, or wet or something like that. And you know, it can really get a good grip. It has a really good thickness to it. So you can grip it really good with gloves or whatever. It has the bolsters here to give you that, that vertical uh, grip. Me aim the air conditioner. I have to have to leave the air conditioner on because it is extremely hot, but I just don't want it to interfere with the camera too much. But anyways, um, very comfortable, high quality feeling steering wheel, and it has a few buttons on it. So let's start here on the right, and these buttons are for obviously it has pictures of a phone. So you're driving along, and once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system you're driving along and all of a sudden your radio dims out and you hear a ringing so you push this button to answer the phone and you start talking you have a conversation and then when it's when it's over you push this button here to hang up so that's and all you can do all that while you are keeping your eyes on the road hands on the wheel now if you need to make a call you can push this button and you can say call and then you can say the number or you can push that button say call John Smith or whoever happens to be in your phone book in your phone now it does have to be you have to say it just like it is in your phone book so you know so you just have to remember that so if you have any abbreviations or anything like that you have to take that in consideration when you're uh, using the voice recognition now the voice recognition system does also have the ability in addition to making phone calls you can change the stations on the radio 
and um, you know di there's different commands basically there's a lot of different you know specific commands that you can learn to use uh, in the, the vehicle to keep your hands on the wheel eyes on the road while you're doing stuff so very good convenience feature but I consider it probably one of the best safety features because it avoids accidents alrighty so here on the left side of the steering wheel is you have a volume so you can turn the volume up and down on the radio and now these buttons here are for changing through uh, like say your stations so like in the uh, in the radio you can scroll through the different stations there now up and down will allow you to go through your presets and pick out which one you want you push the center button to choose that one so then I'm um, chose that one and then you can go it has this back button to go out of certain you know screens also this mode button is for changing through AM FM satellite radio different ways of actually playing music through the sound system so that's that alrighty so let's look at the gauges here and it's very pretty basic but easy to read and sporty looking gauges uh, there's the speedometer front and center so the right there you have your coolant temperature and your gas gauge and then there to the left is your RPMs and it does have like a carbon fiber look um, like artificial background I guess there of the carbon fiber to give it a sportier look all right so headlight controls are here it does have daytime running lights which you can turn on and off there and there's your windshield wiper controls on the right side so let's look at this center stack and you can see it's um, pretty nice looking and fairly simple so here's your touchscreen radio, and it does have some buttons here on the side to assist with the touchscreen. So it's not all touchscreen. So right now we're in the audio screen right here, and this is what your radio is doing right now. It's you know it's on this specific station or whatever, and so I can also go down here to apps, and this will show all the different places you can go: uh, audio, phone, messages, setup, traffic, and weather and the traffic and weather uses a combination of the satellite radio and the HD radio to give you information in those places. Now you do have to be within range of an HD radio station uh, sometimes to access that information so you know keep that in mind. Now the phone, it's not really going to go into much because um, I don't have one paired but once you pair one you can go into your phone book, you can you know it has a, a dial, a, a pad there with all the numbers so you can dial out and all that stuff so really cool stuff there now the home button kind of gives you a combination of what your radio is doing and what your phone is doing now you do have you know volume button on this side and a uh, tune through the stations on that side seek through the stations and play and pause your cd players there at the top okay so down here uh, this is your four-way flashers emergency flashers and right here is your four-wheel drive controls. It's real easy to put this truck in four-wheel drive. It's just as easy as turning a knob there. So right now we're in two-wheel drive high. We can go into four-wheel drive high and then we can go into four-wheel drive low. It's just as simple as that. All right, so down here is your climate control. Very simple. It has your fan speed, your temperature, and where you want the air to blow. And just below that is this is your active traction control so you can engage that when you're doing some off-road driving uh, basically it, it basically you're telling the system that you're going to be depending on your speed and your whether you're going in full drive and all that stuff you know it's going to adapt itself a little bit more to the conditions you're at versus just you know keeping you from slipping wheels at all you know so that's that's kind of the basics of that feature now under here you do have the auxiliary input and the USB input for playing music through the sound system and possibly charging your phone. Also you have your uh, 12 volt power supplies there, two of them. Over here we have this little pocket and I guess you can, uh, you can put your phone in there, that's one use of it. Um, you can just, just to put some stuff there. Also you can put your phone down here in this pocket. Cup holders are here 
and these these pop out so you can have larger cup holders if you need them they're kind of like a rubber insert then you have a place to put pins or whatever there another like a bottle holder there or you know just putting stuff so here's your shifter and let me go ahead and put it in reverse like so and when I put it in reverse it pops up the backup camera now it is a wide angle view backup camera so you can see the the sky the skyline is distorted there but you do have the ability to see from the bumper all the way up to the sky so you have really good visibility it's just a little distorted so therefore they put some guidelines there to give you an idea of how wide the vehicle is and how close you are to things and you notice it has this red line there the red line is a no-go line you don't want to go any closer than that it may seem like you have some distance there but the distance between your truck and that red line is only a few inches down here it's a few feet so because of that distortion uh, those guidelines are very important and this is the center line of your vehicle there so really good safety feature you just have to know that you you know pay attention to the guidelines when you're backing up all right continuing down with the shifter and go down here to neutral then full then drive okay so now if you need to downshift all you got to do is go down this way it's four three and then you got two and then you got low which is super low so real easy to just you know cycle through the gears if you need to and that's for pretty much off-road conditions typically now if you're going downhill and you need to uh, have some engine braking you can just do that and you know fourth gear should give you a pretty decent amount of engine braking to slow you down keep you from going too fast all right so here's the armrest slash center console and this opens up this way with this button here on the side and pretty decent amount of space in here you can see it has um, you know it's wide open you just throw your stuff in there and clutter it up it's gonna be a junk drawer there's some cup holders for the back passengers rear view mirror has the little flippy thing for day and night mode now this one has uh, what appears to be uh, two places either to put your sunglasses one is bigger than the other or a garage door opener or whatever so it does have these little storage areas you got some t quick tap lights there for a reading light this little thing is your microphone for your Bluetooth system and your visors do have mirrors and lights in them for a little slidey thing same thing on that side all right let's take a look back here take a look at the visibility All right, there you have it. 2015 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road Package. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any experience with this truck or truck like this, do you drive one every day? Let us know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. And I'm sure everybody else would too. This video is intended to help people out, give them information, whether they be just curious or you know, getting ready to make a significant purchase and uh, so that's the intention is to add value to your life and I'd really appreciate it if you um, can like the video subscribe to my channel share it with friends leave some comments questions all that good stuff really really appreciate it okay well thanks for watching and I'll see you next time and thank you to Sparks Toyota for allowing me to show off this awesome truck